Hi everyone, it's Simplicity and welcome back to a new video. Today we have a first official part of Amethyst. So starting off, we are getting Amethyst a job in the investigator career. The other option was the fortune telling and I feel like it'd be kind of boring to do because one, it's not as interactive, but two, we're also currently doing that in Supernatural. So I feel like I don't want to have two LPs going on with the same career. You need to go to the bathroom. And then you can come over here and talk to Charlie whenever you are done getting your job. But I hope you're all having a really good day. Or night, depending on the time that you're watching this. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get her started with her job. And just kind of see where things go from here, I guess. Because um, I don't really have like a whole lot planned for this part quite yet. But the one thing that's nice about this generation is a lot of it is more so story based than having to go ahead and like do a bunch of things. So it should be pretty easy. Um, we're also just going ahead and getting her first job here really quick. So we have to go ahead and interview Javon. I said something about a gnome. I didn't read it. Probably should have, but I didn't. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with her career because we can already get started on it since it's a profession. So it should be okay. I'm going to leave Charlie here, let him kind of, you know, do his thing. And we're going to go ahead and see what we can get up to. Because I'm kind of hoping that we meet whoever we're meant to, like, have a child with. Somehow through her job is kind of what I'm hoping. So we'll have to kind of, you know, see how this goes. But it looks like we have this little old man over here to interview. And we'll have to go ahead and see what we have to do after this. What is this little pop-up here? Uh, we can probably do that. We have to go and search James Jones garbage. So it looks like his house is over here. It doesn't look like anybody is currently home. I'm not going to break into the house just because it's not something that we need to do. So let's hop on over here. Okay, so what, she's on her way over here to search the garbage can. Um... We have earned a little bit of job experience. Okay, here we are. So hopefully we don't get caught doing this. That would be a little bit unfortunate if we did. But we'll have to, you know, just see what we can get up to. And hopefully we can at least, I'm hoping, to solve at least two cases uh, in this part. Because I feel like that would make some good job performance. I don't believe we have to reach any certain levels. We have to ask this guy about shoes. So, I guess we're going to do that. We could potentially be used to blackmail them, whatever we found. But yeah, we're only going to go ahead and ask about shoes, so I don't know. Alright, so it looks like this person is over here. There's actually a lot of people over here. So we have to go ahead and report in to Javon. Um, so, who do we have over here? Anyone of interest? Cynthia, Demario, Adrian, uh, Lisa, Bladen. Alexa and Millie. Okay, well, we're just gonna go ahead and report our findings because there's not really anybody there catching our eye. It looks like it's also a full moon because I forgot to shut that off. Alright, so I went ahead and fixed the moon. So we're not having to deal with the full moons, but it looks like we have done this case possibly. Um, we got job performance 650 simoleons and something about gnome abuse so it's kind of an interesting first case but let's go ahead and head on home all right so we are back it is now the next morning we already have a job we got a phone call about this one so we're going to go ahead and go ahead and interview okay so the person that we need to like interview was like invisible so we have to use a computer to hack into melissa's computer so i'm gonna have amethyst head over to the library which thankfully is right here. All right, so we just got to the library. I'm not having a hack using her own computer. I feel like that'd be a little weird. And her brother is also here, so that's kind of cool. But we're gonna go ahead and let her, you know, do her thing, hack into this computer. I've never actually seen this animation from this perspective before, and I didn't realize how it looks like it's like a government website sort of thing. Huh. I've honestly, I've never, in all the years that I've played this game, I've never noticed that. But normally I don't pay that much attention to my sims whenever they're hacking. Now it looks like she's on a dating website, so who knows. Uh, we're not buying a portable nub set. That's not happening. 
but hopefully she finishes hacking into this computer pretty soon. Oh, okay, so we're having an earthquake, and there's a fire on my home lot. We have to report into Loyal, but where is this fire? Earthquake starting a fire at my house. Fun. Yeah, I can hear it, but I don't see a fire. Where is... Can you, like, come home? Um, the maid is going upstairs. Oh. It's in my shower. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a fire inside of a shower in this game before. But she's on her way home, but it looks like we don't actually need to be. Because the maid is going ahead and taking care of our fire, and honestly, he deserves a bonus for that. He just, like, completely saved our bathroom. Alright, so I'm assuming the earthquake started a fire. Alright, so, uh, we're talking to the invisible lady again. Uh, we just got a new title of small claims investigator, and we received a magnifying glass, so she also wants to conduct a stakeout. But yeah, we're slowly but surely making some good progress in this part already. But whoever we are talking to, full on invisible, uh, gasped when I mentioned I used the term noob and poopin'. Apparently I used a little too much force in the forum. Alright. Well, we're gonna go ahead. And I think we're gonna head on home for right now. Alright, so we just got home. I'm having her go ahead and pay the bills really quickly. Just because I don't want anything taken away. Looks like the dog needs to go pee, so you can come out over here. And also looks like the dog needs a little bit of social. So hopefully Charlie finishes going pee. You want to solve a case, we can definitely do that. But already, we've already finished two cases. I forgot how much I actually really enjoy the investigator career. I don't play with it anywhere near as often as I should. So I'm going to actually let her come over here and grab something to eat when she's done. Uh, just because dog has to pee, I'm also going to let Charlie come and grab something to eat. And there we go. So it looks like our bills are paid, which is great. But I want to make sure that everybody's in a good mood. So I'm going to let them go ahead and eat. They can have both kind of a little early dinner situation here. And then we'll go ahead and socialize with Charlie. Alright, so she's eating. Then we need to fill up the dog food bowl, but... I'm going to let her interact with Charlie a little bit first just to make sure that his social is good and he's a happy little pup. So there we go. Look at how tiny he is. I'm honestly kind of obsessed with him, but I want you to clean up this dish as well. Alright, so I feel like these three interactions should be good enough to help us out a little bit. Uh, somebody's learning to talk, which is cool. Okay, so we have to report into Vincent for a blackmailing a local. So it seems like we're, you know, getting onto the bad side of this already. But let's go ahead and interview Vincent, see what he needs. And we'll just kind of, you know, go from there. But I am having to just try and find as many cases as we can. Just because she's able to do work whenever. So I feel like this job's like a very good one to have if you want to have a lot of gameplay but we're heading on over here to whatever the heck Vincent is um looks like we're currently running on a trail so I have no idea is this like the criminal hideout I'm assuming it is all right so it seems like Vincent over here might be a little bit of a criminal um he also kind of looks like one of the sims from world adventures so that's kind of intriguing, but we're going to go ahead and report in, see what he needs, and just kind of, you know, go from there. Uh, we have to inspect the mail and search through the garbage at Paul Bird's home. Alright, so we're heading on over here. So that last case said that they want dirt on Paul, but they won't explain why. So it definitely seems like he might be a little bit sketchy. I was also looking through our friendship panel. We have this Ricky guy here. He's like the only sim that has actually kind of caught my attention for possibly having cute kids so we might have to go ahead and see if we can kind of meet up with him at some point in time she's gonna go ahead and do all of this we're gonna go ahead and fast forward check on the dog and her dog needs some food by the looks of it but it looks like they're also currently sleeping but i am gonna come over here and interrupt charlie's sleep just to go ahead and get something to eat because you know the hunger violet is going into yellow so you can come over here and grab something to eat and then do whatever you please after that. Uh, she's not doing too terribly when it comes to anything. So 
we're not doing too bad. She's a little bit tired, but after we go ahead and inspect, inspect the mailbox, we should be able to go home and get some sleep, I think, depending on how the rest of this case plays out. So uh, let's see what we can kind of, you know, get up to here and see what we can find on Paul's mail. So we're just finishing up with inspecting the mail by the looks of it. So we'll have to go ahead and see what the next point of this is, but I think we're going to go ahead and head home for the night. All right, so we are picking up. It is now the next morning, and we have to go ahead and report our findings into, I don't remember his name, but the guy was kind of sketchy and wanted, like, blackmail information. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can kind of get up to here. Um, I Honestly, the fact that this is what she's wearing at 8 a.m., I question her sometimes. I really, truly do. I would not be that dressed up at 8 a.m. I can tell you that much. But she is meant to be a proper sim, so I guess it makes sense. And it also kind of gives me, like, I don't know, like, very put-together vibes that it might bring in someone trying to talk to her. Who knows? So, we're gonna head... Oh. Why is he on the side of the street? That's kind of interesting. Okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and report into him. And it looks like that went well. We have the investigator's trophy of honor to go and collect now. So I guess we're going to go ahead and collect our service award over here. Uh, looked at me like a cornered animal with a hint of rabid fascination. Not, I'm not sure I was working for the right individual. Well, that wasn't hard to figure out. Alright, so we have to go to the police station to offer our psychic services for a missing golden llama. So, it doesn't look like we're able to currently go ahead and do that by the looks of it. I think there's, like, specific times. Yeah, between 8 and 12. Okay, so we'll have to pick up on that tomorrow. Um, so, I don't know what I want to do with her right now, if I'm honest. Really not too sure. We can maybe try and invite Ricky over, but I feel like that's a little weird. And he's busy right now anyways, so we'll have to kind of see what we get up to. Alright, so, um, we are over here, and I'm going ahead and actually going to get some roommates, just because she's only going to end up having one kid, so I feel like it kind of makes sense to, you know, have some roommates, this house won't be as empty, we do have the space for two roommates, so I think that would be a good idea, and it brings in some extra income for us as well. So it's not too bad. Uh, we're going to go ahead and change the max number of roommates here to two, though, instead of seven. Okay. So I think we're going to go ahead and let her actually set this as her bed so that everybody doesn't, you know, try and, like, take it. She wants to go ahead and read a book, but she also wants to go ahead and do the laundry. So I think I'm going to let her go ahead and do laundry really quick. Because I don't know if our maid actually has ever done the laundry um, I'm probably going to end up skipping just until we do a little something, you know, more interesting than something like laundry per se. So I just had her come over here to like this little bar to see if we could meet anyone. And Ricky actually ended up being here. So I think we're going to come over here and just socialize with him a little bit. Um, I also wanted to check in with our family tree. So we have Lynette over here, which is Calypso's daughter. So, the next generation is already starting, and it's kind of exciting. I'm excited to see, you know, how this family tree continues to grow. I still have to make a family tree now that I'm thinking about it. Um, it looks like Garrett and Katrina are still doing good. This sim seems to have elf ears, which is kind of adorable. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and talk to him. They do have a small little bit of a relationship bug, but they are definitely still acquaintances. And we're just going to kind of see how this goes and if they hit it off. Um, I don't know. Because, like, now that I'm actually seeing him, I don't feel like he's all that cute or her type. But maybe he somehow is. I'm not her, and I, she has her own way of figuring out if she's attracted to him or not. But I just, I don't know. I feel like she'd probably not go for a guy that's in like the medical profession so they're just gonna go ahead and keep on talking here see if we can kind of build up their friendship but at least a little bit um she wants to do some low-level police work so i will lock that in and i should have
probably ask him if he's single. But I'm gonna let her, you know, just do her thing. See how good talking about computers gets her. And we will figure it out slowly but surely. So it seems like she's being sociable. So she's not doing terribly for never having a friend. But I just, I don't know. They seem to be getting along. But I want to go ahead, I think, and figure out if he's single number one and if she finds him attractive. I feel like that's probably the two best things to go ahead and do. So we'll go ahead and consider his attractiveness first. I'm probably doing this backwards, but it's fine. And then, um, what do I want to do? Let's see. I guess we'll just go ahead and ask him if he's single. Okay. So, 9 out of 10. That's actually not too bad. But is he single is a good question to ask. Alright. We'll just go ahead and wait and see here. Um, we'll maybe go ahead and ask him about his career as well, although we know it's in medicine. And, okay. Um, oh no. Celeste. As in her sister? Because if that's the case, this is an automatic no. Yeah, okay, so he's in a relationship with his sister. Um, we're not messing with that. Normally in some of my LPs I would. But I don't feel like Amethyst is that type, so we're not going ahead and doing that. Uh, we're not even going to ask him a sign, I'm just going to let her finish asking, but it's clear. And we're going to go ahead and head on home, I think. Because we can't get any food, who is this? Elizabeth, I don't really care about you. So I think we're going to head on home and pick up in the morning. I think that's probably our best bet here. Um, figured out he's a workaholic. Okay. Oh. Alright, so I just had her come home, and there's actually like a sim over here. I did place some sims down, but I didn't place him in this lot. So this is Daryl. Uh, I did a create a sim on him, which I will try and link in the cards if I remember. He is very cute. I do really like him. And I feel bad about making him like a bad guy, but he's the first one that we seem to have ran into. So we're going to go ahead and ask about age. And just kind of, you know, try and get to know him a little bit. But yeah, I will link his clear to sim in the cards probably. Just because he is super cute. And I think, if I remember correctly, he might actually be up for download. So I want to go ahead and see, number one, if he's single. I'm going to assume that he probably is. Because I don't remember seeing anything about story progression. Um, okay, so he's not actually her type. He is average, but we'll do in a pinch. But then again, she also doesn't really know anything about him. So he's one day older, which isn't bad. But we're going to go ahead and just kind of, you know, get to know him a little bit. I think he actually has all good traits. So I should have probably changed them. But we'll just go ahead and, you know, be friendly. Um, she's talking about her brother. All right. So we're over here doing some low-level police work. They actually did become friends. So, so far we know he's a party animal, angler, and handy. So, he doesn't, alright, so we are back. Our roommates just got here, and from the looks of it, we have some pudding faces. So, why are you... Okay, so this is one, as you can see, she's kind of very pudding face. And then we had this guy over here as well, who, when I first looked at him, I didn't think he was a pudding face, but he definitely is. So then we also have this guy over here. So we've got a couple of pudding faces, but I might give them a makeover before the next part. And it looks like she's getting a phone call. Okay. So Dill is actually calling her to talk. I am going to let her go ahead and do that. And we're not buying... And no. She really wants to buy this, like, portable nub set. I don't know. Um, okay. So we still don't really know much about him other than he went to military school. So, and that he's a Libra. So we don't know a whole lot, but I'm going to let her go home after she's done talking to him. And we will see what we kind of, you know, get up to. Alright, so we have to report in for Laurel. She wants to be engaged. She wants me to find out if one's on the way. So I guess that's what we're going to go ahead and do. But Dale's actually over here. I had her go ahead and invite him over. 
um, just because I wanted to kind of, you know, get to know him a little bit better to see if that was going to help with her attractiveness or not. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and share the discomfort about crowds because she is surrounded by a bunch of people she doesn't know. That was the one thing I probably should have thought about before getting some random roommates and not people that she knows. But I feel like it should be okay. Uh, we could actually also ask him to be a roommate, but I'm not going to. And then I guess we'll go ahead and discuss matters of etiquette because I feel like that'd be something she would do. So he's not very happy about her sharing her discomfort that did bring the relationship down. And he thinks that she's being boring. So that's probably not the best situation here. Um, but I'm kind of thinking... Like, this is kind of the first guy that has actually kind of gave her attention. That I feel like she'd be kind of rushing into it a little bit. So I am going to try and see if we can kind of, you know, get to know him a little bit better. And then I might rush into the relationship bit just a little bit. So he's actually in the military. Um, okay. So it seems like everything's currently still going well. They are still friends. And... Yeah, so you might see me kind of like rush into things just a little bit. Uh, just because I feel like that would be kind of what she does. She does still think he's a 5 out of 10. So it hasn't increased any. But I also realized I haven't shown you him up close. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick because like he is really cute. Um, here we are. So here's Daryl. I do feel like he's a really cute sim. Um, there we go. You can kind of see him a little bit here. But I feel like he's very cute, and I feel like they might have some cute kids. Well, I guess technically cute kid. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and see. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and be funny. See if maybe one of his traits has something to do. We could dare him to kiss someone. But I don't really feel like having him go around and, like, kissing one of our roommates or something like that. So I think for right now we're going to stick to a silly face. And then maybe we'll go ahead and do a funny story as well. But they do get along really well. I just kind of wish that I could figure out what his last two traits were. Because it has been a while since I've made this sim. That I truly have absolutely no idea what they could possibly be. So we're just going to kind of, I think we're going to go ahead and maybe compliment. No, actually no, let's go straight for the float. Um, our maid is done, which is perfectly fine. But yeah, so we're going to kind of rush into things a little bit. Because um, we do have to have the kid before we are an adult. So I feel like it would be something that just kind of, you know, happens. And it kind of goes quite quickly. So that's kind of what I am currently thinking. Okay, so he is being flirty back. So it seems like he's into it. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe... Uh, maybe we'll do like a flirtatious joke. Apparently that automatically makes it a date, which I don't love because it's definitely not seeming like this is like date material. Maybe that's just me, but we'll just go ahead and see what we can kind of get up to here. Um, maybe we'll compliment his, him being proper too, even though we know down the line he's not going to end up being that way. So... I don't know, I feel like that'd be something that kind of, like, draws her in a little bit. Um, thinking that he's kind of, you know, similar to her. And then, uh, maybe we'll go ahead and give him a hug. I don't know. I'm kind of just trying to build this up a little bit for her to, like, spontaneously kiss him is kind of what I'm thinking. But I do want to go ahead and get some pictures. So, get a good, like, camera angle here a little bit. Oh, uh, right. But, like, I do feel like they are really cute, but I know that I need to, like, make them toxic. And I kind of wish that they had vibes of, like, Freya and Isaiah from my Supernatural LP. Because I feel like that would make it so much easier. Because if you haven't seen that, those two are really, like, toxic together. And it's just, it's a whole time. Um, okay. Um, what is this? Shaka bra. Okay. Well, I guess they don't feel like being flirty anymore because they're, like, going ahead and, you know, not flirting. All right. <laughs> Honestly, I do really like that interaction. I feel like it's quite cute. 
So let's go ahead and uh, I think I'm going to do it. I think we're going to go into the heat of the moment kiss. So let's see how this kind of, you know, all works out. All right. I'm hoping this goes over well because if it doesn't, it might mean that things aren't going to like work, but we'll try and see how it goes. Okay, he's into it. Cool. So here is the start of a bad relationship for her, I guess, technically. They are now romantic in dress, but I think I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap this video up right here. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, you can go ahead and like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can go ahead and subscribe. I post videos typically six days a week right now. If you are already subscribed and want notifications when I post, you can go ahead and hit that bell down below. Make sure that your YouTube notifications are turned on, and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye, lovelies!